going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm the Beastly Gamer and thank you for joining me today. Today I want to talk to you guys about Nintendo's Pokemon Go. This game is phenomenal. Everybody likes it. Everybody loves it. Everybody's played it. Uh, one good thing I'll say about Pokemon Go, it's gotten people that I know out of the fucking house. I mean, it's gotten aunts and uncles out of the house. People who don't leave the house other than the grocery shop or go to work have been, you know, making rounds through their neighborhoods, going up to, you know, the corner to, to find a Pokemon in the bushes. And that kind of activity I can actually support. Unfortunately, there's a lot of other issues that come along with Pokemon Go that aren't really that savory. Now, I have actually downloaded this game on my iPad. I've taken a look at it. I understand what it is. I haven't given it really any time. Uh, because I, I don't have time. I honestly don't. Between working, making YouTube videos, and playing the games I actually want to play, no. Pokemon Go is not going to get any playtime from me. But I do understand the draw for some people out there who spend lots and lots of times on their phone, uh, you know, goofing off and playing mobile games. With that being said, there's been 72, count them, 72 complaints made to the Federal Trade Commission about this game and the way it's affecting people's lives. Uh, there's actually been people robbed, killed a whole bunch of things have happened behind pokemon go the robbery seem like it happens every other week uh but you know there's actually been a murder involving pokemon go and there's been lots and lots of issues with niantic and nintendo's placement of these sacred pokemon i'll drop a link in the description pokemon go players file complaints with the federal trade commission citing safety privacy and microtransactions pokemon go continues to generate issues the complaints vary, but most of the complaints revolve around microtransactions. One user explained paying Niantic Labs $450 without complaining, but had their personal account banned after Niantic issued its new terms and agreements, banning any account using third-party applications used for tracking or anything that they saw fit. Quote, I had my account taken away from me without any warning or contact from Niantic. I have emailed them and sent in an appeal against my ban. I would like to have all my money that I spent on their game refunded or my account returned to me so I can continue to play their game, end quote. Other complaints regard issues such as trespassing on private property. Now, this is the one I understand. You know, I, I got to kind of agree with them here. Quote, we have Pokemon Go players showing up at our house and we don't play at all, end quote, wrote one complaint. Continuing on, quote, we do not participate, download, etc. Please remove the address for others that do. It appears that our Gmail account was used incorrectly for others to participate and use this address. It has caused anxiety, panic attacks, which caused physical intervention from life alert, end quote. Jeez. Continuing on, quote, We are a small hospital in Oregon, and Nintendo Pokemon Go players are descending on our halls and asking to go into private areas to take pictures and get their game points. In the process, they may see our patients in rooms and halls. Our hospital works to carefully protect patient privacy, and this is a dilemma. Protect privacy versus public service. We ask that Nintendo not allow hospitals or clinics to be listed as sites where anyone may locate a Pokemon target, end quote. Another one, quote, the Pokemon Go mobile game privacy policy states that they access PLL, such as email addresses, but their app requires full Google account access to function giving them access to all emails, calendar contents, contacts, etc. At no time when creating an account or linking the game to one's Google account does this app state the extent of the access or that the required access far exceeds that described in the privacy policy. Revoking access from one's Google account forces the game to log out and logging back into the game reinstates full Google account access. This game is aimed at children and very aggressively deceives players into revealing potentially incredibly private information, end quote. Last one, quote, I am deeply upset and concerned about the safety of every person playing Pokemon Go, especially the children. I almost killed a child today who was riding his bike and veered into the roadway holding his cell phone up. I have many friends and family members who report similar instances and I've seen on the news that it's possible that a death has occurred due to this game and countless injuries and even attacks on those not paying attention to their surroundings. This has to be one of the most unsafe products out. Not only for those who have purchased it, but for those who have not and may get in a car accident because of someone else playing it. Please, please get this product off the market ASAP. 
before children are killed. Recall, get it off the market, it is unsafe, end quote. Pokemon Go has been under target for similar issues since its launch. People have died playing the game, going to unsafe places, end quote. So this is, it's, it's a real deal, man. People are really frustrated about this game. Now, this is my thing, right? Everybody doesn't have the same training. Everybody doesn't have the same parents. Everybody isn't going to be as safe as everybody else. You know, people are going to learn. There, there's a guy, two guys who fell 50 feet off of a damn cliff playing this game. Thank God they lived. There's been people who've gotten guns pulled on them because they went to hot spots where rare Pokemon are. There have been pe- a guy got murdered uh, playing this game. It's a, it's a really rough situation. And this lady, obviously, who sent this letter to the FCC, said she almost hit a kid on a bike holding this phone up like it's GPS trying to find a damn Pokemon. So... It, it is a real problem for a lot of people. And if it's not a problem for you, then this, this isn't really aimed at you. And I know that everybody out there isn't, you know, a numbskull out there making poor decisions about Pokemon. But it's one of those situations where the, the small minority might actually affect the majority if something really, really bad happens here. I just hope that people act responsibly out there playing this game. I hope, honestly, I just hope that Niantic and Nintendo pick better places to trade them and, and, you know, find uniques and exotics. But I don't think that universities, colleges, or damn sure hospitals are the places for people to go. I think that there are high drug areas. I think there are high violence areas. And if Nintendo and Niantic want to create this GPS-centered augmented reality game, they need to be aware of what's going on in certain places. Because if you're not familiar with an area and you go there for a Pokemon and you pull up into a scene from Boys in the Hood... What you looking at, nigga? I'm still trying to find out, nigga. Hold up, hold up. Oh, we got a problem here? We got a problem here? We got a problem here? Pokemon might have just got you killed. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you still playing this game? Are you having fun with it? Have you seen anything crazy happen behind people playing Pokemon Go? I would love to know in the comments. Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and tell all your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Let it go.